Hey guys, good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope everybody's night was great. I hope everybody slept well. I slept all day yesterday, literally. And um, you guys know that I deal with depression. So depression can do that to you, you know. Um, I woke up yesterday morning. I... I'm trying to remember because I slept, honey. I woke up and then I remember I ordered groceries. I ordered some food to eat, a delivery. Um, I... Did I read the daily text? No, I didn't read the daily text because after that I was asleep. The thing is I have insomnia. So lately I've been sleeping at night. Normally I'm up all night and I sleep all day because depression does that. But um, lately, you know, I've been basically sleeping at night. And, um, but I slept that previous night but yesterday when I basically woke up, I still felt sleepy and I was sleeping because I woke up early and I handled business, ordered food, ordered groceries, um, you know, that type of thing. I was emailing, I was messaging my doctor back and forth, you know, getting certain um, lab results or whatever the case may be with my um, gynecologist and um you know, I was doing those things and then it's like, you know, when you wake up early and you handle business and it's like, okay, I can go back to sleep because I did this early in the morning. So, you know, now I can just go back to sleep and just kind of, you know, catch up on, I can finish my rest. So I basically went back to sleep and I was just in and out of sleep. And what I like to do is I'll play like YouTube videos in the background. I'll listen to, you know, different YouTubers in the background and I'll just be sleeping and um, I'll reposition myself. I'll get up to reposition myself and then I'll change like, you know, to another YouTuber. Like, you know how people play background music when they, you know, um, going to sleep. It's kind of like that's what I do. I play background music sometimes like a while. I haven't done that in a while, but I've done it before before plenty of times but i play youtubers and i play different like shows sometimes but more so youtubers in the background to help me sleep so i basically slept all day and by the time i woke up like it was like eight and then eight o'clock i went back to sleep and the next thing i know it's eleven forty nine. i remember that vividly and um i basically had to take my anxiety medication and I couldn't find it so I didn't take it <laughs> and then you know with anxiety sometimes your heart can race and cause palpitations so um and when your heart races it's kind of like you're running in your heart race Sometimes with anxiety, anxiety can make your heart race and make you feel like you've been jogging for like 15 minutes. So literally, you'll be, you'll get up and go make a sandwich and your heart will race because of anxiety and it'll feel like you've been jogging and you'll be very tired. So, and you'll have a high heart rate. Like I've been to the, to the doctor, a normal heart rate is from 60 to 100. I'll have a heart rate of like 132. And the doctor will say, you need to relax. Your anxiety is like this, that, and a third. So he prescribed me metoprolol. That's a beta blocker. And um, so I took the metoprolol because I couldn't find my anxiety med. And then I just went to sleep. I noticed I did not shower because I was asleep. That's what depression does to you. Depression, you know, a lot of times you just basically, you sleep all day. And... You know, a lot of people who have depression can testify to that because it's like you don't try to, but your body literally is just like, I don't want to get up. I don't have the interest or the motivation or the willpower to get up. I just want to stay in bed. It's far easier to just stay in bed and to just chill. So um, I was just asleep. You know what I'm saying? And 
that's you know depression is something that people if you don't go through it you won't understand you feel me and a lot of people will judge you like if you say oh i didn't shower today people will judge you but it's like people who are smart and intelligent and you know understand like you know you may not understand mental health to the full capacity but you understand mental health is something very very real um people like that they they get it they understand what it means to not shower for the day because you're depressed you feel me like they're not gonna judge you or make fun of you or anything like that you feel me but um and shout out to those you know compassionate understanding people very intelligent people People who usually shun people for stuff like that are very ignorant and you just ignore it and realize that, you know, dumb people just don't matter or deserve attention, period. <laughs> but yeah, I'm keeping it real because it's like, I, that's the only thing that I can do. Like, I can just only keep it real and be myself. Um. So I realized this morning when I woke up, I was like bitch last night i didn't take a shower man i hopped up so fast it was like six o'clock in the morning it's not six o'clock in the morning anymore it has to be seven or eight no seven it has to be seven or seven thirty man i hopped i brushed my teeth and hopped in that shower so fast like i was like oh no because i committed to myself i said some days are hard and some days i don't want to get up and some days i don't shower because i'm you know, um, I'm feeling like I just want to stay in bed. I don't have a motivation or interest at all to get up, but I have to get up because hygiene is very important and you can cause problems for yourself if you're not hygienic. Like you can get bacterial infections. You can, you know, really like self-destruct if you don't take care of yourself. So I made it a goal. I said, even if I don't feel like getting up, it must, it's non-negotiable. I have to get up. So I got up and I, and you know, you feel good. I feel really, really good and refreshed. And um, um, I was like, I'm happy that I got that out the way because I felt so kind of like bad, you know, for not getting up last night or yesterday at all. Um, and I said, okay, I'm gonna make up for it this morning. But um, you know, I definitely want to get back to my mental health videos because I think that that is very important. Um, part of the reason why I want to get back to mental health videos is because I went to the gynecologist on Tuesday and my gynecologist, God works in crazy ways because my gynecologist, I basically was going through an episode where I had appointments with the dentist and the gynecologist, but I kept on rescheduling my appointment because I didn't feel like getting up to go. I didn't have no energy. My doctor changed my depression medication and that medication made me so dead. Like I'm talking about, I did not want to get out of bed to do anything. And I'm so happy I'm off of that med. It's called Zoloft. It's very, very like, it's in the class of, it's in the drug class of, serotonin reuptake inhibitors, uh, SSRIs, those type of meds don't work for me. It takes about six to eight weeks to kick in. I need immediate action for my depression. And it, it, it just wasn't working. It, it depleted all my energy. I could not get up. So of course I was rescheduling appointments back to back. Like I had an appointment say Monday, I can't make it because I don't feel like getting up. Like I'm not energetic. I don't feel good inside like there's a dark cloud over my head I don't feel like it but finally you know Tuesday I woke up I read something spiritual and it gave me the strength God to get up and make my appointment made my no I basically canceled an appointment with my gynecologist then I wrote him on my chart and I explained to him I was like doctor sorry for making all of these appointments like, because, you know, you, you, you canceling appointments all the time. The doctors, you know, that could be somebody else taking the appointment. Like, don't waste nobody's time. Nobody's time. So I felt kind of bad. And I was just like, doctor, to be honest, you know, at that time, I was like thinking suicidal. And I was just like, doctor, you know, I've been rescheduling appointments because this I've been depleted. I've been so non-energetic. I can't get up. That's why I reschedule. I was thinking suicidal. And, you know, I basically 
got on a med and you know blase blase i was just explaining to him what was going on with me and why i wasn't showing up and he basically you know didn't respond that moment but i the same day called the office and said can you please squeeze me in for an appointment with him because i'm i'm due i have to see him and so they said no problem like you know i explained my situation to you know the people who were scheduling appointments as well like i wasn't feeling well like this is what was going on with me i'm very honest like yo like i feel depressed i can't make it like can i reschedule and you know they heard that they read it and they were like of course and they responded with compassion and they fit me into their schedule so tuesday of this week they put me in they said no problem alexandra you know you can come in at um 12 30. so i made the appointment and as soon as the doctor walked in he was like did you get my message he sent me a message that morning i had messaged him like probably the week before before my the day of my appointment he messaged me and um he was explaining to me you know he just sat down and he said i wanted to talk to you he said that i understand what you're going through because i went through my own episode basically of feeling basically depressed um, you know, I'm not going to go into detail about what he told me because that's his personal business that he shared with me that I will always keep confidential, but he was going through it and he was explaining to me, the doctor, how he could relate to me and this is going on in his life and this is going on in his life and this is going on in his life. And, you know, I was just kind of like, doctor, I understand, you know, I, I understand. And he looked at me and he said, thank you. Because a lot of people can say, oh, I understand, but they don't. If you don't have depression, you don't fully understand. But because I do, when I told him I understand, he said, thank you. And he, I saw the gratitude in his eyes because he knew I could understand. Because I, I go through it every day. It's a battle. It's a battle every day. And so... I shared some scriptures with him. I opened up my phone and mind you, it's a doctor's visit, but we put all of the medical stuff to the side. I put that to the side and we were just talking like about real life stuff and about depression and what it does to you. And I wanted to encourage him. So I opened up some scriptures. I shared with, I shared with him the spiritual thing I read that got me up in the morning to go, like that gave me the motivation to go. Then after that, I shared some more scriptures with him. There's a scripture that says Jehovah is close to the brokenhearted and those who are crushed. And he saves those who are crushed in spirit or discouraged. So he was very discouraged about certain things. And I was just telling him God is close to the brokenhearted and he saves those who are crushed in spirit. Because sometimes we are so crushed in our spirit. We are sad. We're discouraged. We're depressed. But people like us, God saves and gives us the strength to go on. That's the message that I was basically showing him the Bible was teaching. Like, you, you know, Jehovah loves you. He's close to you. He understands what you're going through. And he will give you the strength to go on. And he saves people like us because he understands what we go through. And then um, I just showed him scriptures, you know, to just keep to motivate him and to show him that the darkness will fade and you'll see light again. You feel me? And I'm going to share the, the scriptures that I shared with him because maybe one of you guys can take something from it and know that it, it's going to be OK. It may not feel like that at that moment when you when you're in darkness, but there's always light in the end so we talked for like an hour literally an hour about us and then later on is when we started to talk about the medical stuff but it was mostly about connecting and being compassionate towards each other because of what we go through that we you know the, the things that we have in common that we can relate to each other about and so, you know, we did what we had to do medically as well. And um, I remember he gave me this big hug and he was like, I'm so happy we got to speak. And he said, I feel like God sent you to me. I think God works through people. And I definitely believe that, you know, you're here because, you know, God sent you to talk to me. This is the doctor. And I said, you know, he does work through people. And he gave me the biggest hug. 
and he was like, I, I really thank you, you know, and he held my arms and I could, I could really feel that he felt good and I was so happy that I was able to leave and him feel okay and understood. And so then I went, you know, downstairs to the lab and I got my lab done, my lab work done. And then I left and I felt good. And I remember I was driving and I was just like, look how beautiful outside looks. Look, look at the sun, look at, I, I put my window down. I didn't turn on the AC. I was like, the wind feels so good. God's nature feels so good. Cause I had not been out of my house in like a month and two weeks because I was so depressed. And I was like, I will never not be outside for that long ever again, because God's nature is too beautiful to miss. The sun, the wind, the buildings, I was looking at the sky. I was like, look at how beautiful God's creations are. Look at how good this wind feels. Like the simple things, I was just enjoying it. I was like, I'm outside. I haven't been outside so long to even check my mail. That's how bad it was. I was like, that's why I went ghost on YouTube because I was like, I don't feel it. And I was looking at outside and I was like, wow, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful out here. Like who the hell wants to commit suicide and miss out on all of this? Life is beautiful. No matter how hard it gets, you have to remember the darkness, it always goes away after a while. Like life is too beautiful to like end it all because you will never see the rainbow at the end of the rain. And I saw rainbow. I didn't see a little a rainbow, but I saw light. I saw the beautiful creations of God. I saw, I just saw, you know, I felt the wind. I saw the sun. I saw buildings. I saw everything. I saw artwork. I saw so many things just driving. And my doctor's office is an hour away. And I take that drive because he's a wonderful doctor. He's worth it. And I said to myself, you know, I realized that I have a calling, you know, I'm really needed on this earth. Committing suicide is not an option because who is going to be able to relate to people like that doctor if I were to do something like that? Who is going to help people who go through depression if I were to end my life or decide to give up? Who's gonna help them? Because people like who don't have depression or whatever, or brain health issues, like, you know, they don't understand. So they need people on this earth that understand them to talk them off the ledge or to talk to them, period. I'm needed. If I'm not around, who's going to relate or understand? And when I understood that I have a purpose and I have, you know, a reason to live, not just because life is beautiful, but because people need me and people they need love and they need um, support, mental support. They need comfort. They need empathy. They need understanding. That's when I realized, yeah, like that changed my whole perspective on life. I was like, yeah, I got goals, man. I want to make my YouTube about mental health. I want to make sure that I help people every day. Um, I want to make sure that I volunteer for the crisis text hotline. I would love to volunteer for the suicide hotline. I would love to do things to help people um, because mental health is my thing. And that's my special compartment. That's my special area of expertise because I go through it. You feel me? And I'm a, I'm a professional. I'm a nurse. And in nursing, you study mental health. And so I know things, I know certain things. And on top of that, I have experience from being somebody who suffers from, you know, depression, anxiety. So I have a lot to offer the world. So I told myself I have to be around because I need to help people and I love helping people. So, you know, that day, Tuesday, I was like, mm -mm, even if I don't feel like getting up, I'm getting up, I'm showering, I'm brushing my teeth. Um, I'm taking care of myself. Like, I don't care how I feel. Like, I mean, how I feel is very important, but my health is way more important. I'm going to make sure that I get out more. I'm going to make sure that, 
I keep a positive mindset. I'm going to make sure that every day I go out of my way to do something positive for someone else because I notice when I help people and when I'm doing things for other people, I'm the happiest because I'm a selfless person in real life. So, um, you know, that's what happened Tuesday. And then I had a dental appointment Friday, yesterday, but I rescheduled that because I'm like, I had two appointments the same week. That's a lot for me. You know, I need to space out my appointments because I don't want my energy to be drained. You feel me? So Tuesday, I'll be going to my dental appointment. I got pretty teeth. So just the cleaning, a regular cleaning. Um, but yeah, you know. And then in between time, I started to look at this girl's youth, uh, Instagram and I wanted to share some things that basically I was so inspired by. And I basically was like, yeah, like she gets it. You know what I'm saying? You think the, let me tell you something, the prettiest people, the most dopest people you look at. You may think they don't have problems. We have problems, okay? Everybody has problems. You feel me? Like, everybody. And I'm about to show you some things that I was watching yesterday um, and things that inspired me and things that can help you if you are going through, like, mental health. Um... You know, if you're depressed, if you have anxiety, you know, whatever it is, you have PTSD, trauma, you know, I'm going to definitely read out what she posted. I'm going to play some videos as well that she posted that you people that suffer from these things can hear because I was inspired. I was like, you know, look at all that she's been through and she literally like conquered all of that and that gave me more inspiration to be a conqueror as well and to keep going every day and to strive to self-care be my best self regardless of what I deal with and you know in the end successfully beat this thing you feel me so um I'm just on the journey to just being my best self and um not letting depression deteriorate me or self-destruct me but making sure that I do my best to go into remission or do my best to just improve every day so anybody suffering out there just know you're not alone you know those days where you don't want to get out of bed you're not alone those days where you overeat because you're depressed you're not alone those days when you under eat i went the whole day without eating one day because i didn't feel like getting up to eat you're not alone those days when you feel just no motivation you're not alone those days when you feel like i'm suicidal you're not alone i've been there those days when you feel like man my life sucks you're not alone those days where you feel like you know you have no interest or motivation to do things that you once enjoyed you're not alone you know you're just not alone and you know um i just you know want to say that you're loved and you're supported and my dms are always open to anybody that wants to talk so I'm going to play some videos. I, I ain't going to play no music because she got music behind them. I don't want to, you know, get copyrighted. But I'm basically going to show you some things you can do when you feel down. And I can definitely play some videos that are not... Um, uh, copyright, you know, um, prone. So I'm going to go ahead and get into that. And you guys basically just stay tuned. Um, definitely more mental health coming up, like on my channel. I got a lot of creative ideas. But I just wanted to come on here and let y'all know the real. You know, it takes a real person to admit certain things and say certain things. And a lot of people, they just not, 
they just can't do it but it's like if i don't do it if the person that i'm going to show you i don't do it who is going to be able to relate who is going to feel understood who people who are suffering who who are they going to look at for inspiration or who are they going to look at as people that they can look at you know as people who understand what they're going through. If you don't just be honest about your situation, you know, there's a really big issue in society of just being honest. Like, just be honest. Like, be 400, like, be not 100, but 400 about your life. Like, be honest. People live whole lives, and it's like, I can't live a lie, baby. I'm definitely too real for that. I'm too real for that. Like, I definitely am a real person who go through real life things, and I've been explaining what I've gone through and from the beginning and i'm gonna end it that way so i'm gonna show you out a video guys and that's just a little experience that i had to share with you guys like that was my week and um i'm gonna keep you updated on my mental health and you know on just life period you know what i'm saying like definitely i'm gonna do that for y'all because i feel like we all go through things that are unspoken or unheard and everyone deserves to be heard and understood so i'm going to my my groceries are going to be here like at two um i'm chilling right now so i'm just going to go on the girl videos and just show y'all what it's like and what you can do peace out assalamu alaikum all that and um i'm gonna see y'all like soon you feel me don't mind the pimples on my face you feel me i'm working on that don't mind my eyebrows i gotta get that done still a cute bitch but anywho i'll see you guys soon3 p.m. She's still in bed. 4 p.m. She's still in bed. That's how depression is. You be in bed all day. 12 p.m. People texting you. You not answering or you answer. 1 p.m. Still in bed. 2 p.m. Still in bed. I don't be responding. She responded. At least, at least they get a response. I don't be responding. 3 p.m. She's still in bed. 4 p.m. She's still in bed. And people think that you be ignoring them, but it's like no, baby. I'm in my, I'm in my mind right now. I'm in my, I'm in my feelings right now. I'm in my mode right now. You know what I'm saying? So it's not you. I just need some time to myself. You feel me? So basically, this is something that, you know, people need to know, you know, when it comes to depression, you literally be in the same spot like the whole day. And this is somebody who is extremely beautiful. And you would never think people be thinking, oh, people look good and they'll be going through stuff. No, she deals with depression. You feel me? And there's a she did a story of her life. And I was like, dang, like, my mom committed suicide when I was six months old. My dad was sentenced to life in prison when I was nine. I was suicidal and depressed as a kid, looked to drugs, alcohol, and sex for comfort. Joined the military at 17, then my son was one. I deployed to Afghanistan. After the deployment, I was hospitalized nine times, rehab inpatient and ICU. I got medically discharged for major depressive disorder. I wanted to retire 20 years, so my dream was crushed. I was lost and depressed, but I got tired of using everything as an excuse. Now I'm pursuing something much bigger than I ever would have imagined. Blessings in disguise. Can we get a story time on your strength, motivation, what happened? So you see, like, she had a rough childhood, like, from the beginning. Six months, mom committed suicide. Nine years old, dad went to jail. Suicidal. 
in and out of the hospital for suicidal attempts, going to the military. They discharged her from ha for having major depression. It's really, really like a disease. Like it's just like having high blood pressure. It's a, it's a real illness. And so, um, they basically discharged her from the military for having major depressive disorder, which is a severe form of depression where basically you are suicidal. You cannot work like you cannot, you know, function. You cannot, you know, you, you just can't function like the average, you know, human being because you're because you're emotionally, mentally not there. You feel me? Um. So that's just, you know, some of the things that, you know, um, she was basically sharing that I basically was inspired by. And um, this is one more thing. So things that help when I start to get depressed. Working out. If you look at her page, she's always working out. Eating right. Journaling. Journaling for me is in the form of writing songs. I write like I rap, I sing, I do different things, and that makes me happy. Getting out of the house. Tuesday when I told y'all I was going to the doctor, and I basically felt the wind. I saw the sun. That made me so happy to see nature. That helped my mood. Cleaning up. I plan to do that soon. Personal development, books, podcasts, YouTube videos. I love YouTube videos. I love watching them. Doing things you enjoy, you know, that makes me happy. Improves your mood. Doing things I absolutely have no energy or desire to do and focusing on the outcome of it. Exactly. For example, you may be in bed all day. I don't feel like showering. I don't feel like getting up. But you do it anyway because the outcome, you're going to feel good. Like, oh, I feel fresh. I feel refreshed. I feel good. You know what I'm saying? So you may not have the desire to do it, but you do it anyway. And then in the end, you see the positive outcome. So these are some things you can do when you feel you know, depressed, you feel me? Like, do things that make you happy. And, um, you know, I basically saw her page and I was like, oh, she gets it. And then I thought to myself, like, yeah, people, you know, they, you know, when I was making mental health videos, people understood me too. And I had a lot of positive feedback and I would love to get back to that. So, um, that I just wanted to share this with you guys and, you know, just show you that you can do different things and there's different ways to go about handling things like depression, things like anxiety. And, um, you just have to commit to, you know, yourself commit to fighting and commit to, you know, improving every day. It doesn't have to be four five, six things that you do every day. You can do one thing a day and be proud of yourself for doing it because you could be doing nothing but you're doing something you feel me so um i just wanted to basically show y'all that um and um do i want to share the scriptures i shared i already shared with the other scriptures i shared with the doctor you know one that said jehovah is close to the brokenhearted and he saves those who are crushed in spirit so, you know, if you're crushed in spirit, just pray to God. That's another way to get strength, you know, praying to God. Um, and he will give you the strength that you need. And the scripture that got me up on Tuesday was, for I have the strength to do all things through the one that gives me power. I have the strength to do all things through the one that gives me power. So even if you feel powerless and weak, Jehovah can give you the strength to get up and do what you have to do by supplying you with his power, his Holy Spirit. And before you know it, you're up and you're out. And that's exactly how I got up and out to the doctor's Tuesday. So if you guys want more, you know, mental health videos and different things like that, comment down below and know that you're not alone. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, like if you want to be messy and if you want, you know, all of that, you can unsubscribe. I don't give a damn because these things are far more important than the stuff that the irrelevant stuff that, you know, I be talking about, like, you know, but this right here is important and it's important to me. So if you want more of that, please stick around. And if you don't, please unsubscribe.
please. <laughs> so, um, y'all comment down below and tell me, you know, what y'all think. And yeah, I just wanted to come on here and talk to y'all real quick. Love y'all. Agape.